speaker is Andrea Coquette, and, uh, or sorry, Audrey, forgive me, Audrey Coquette. Audrey is a poet, spoken word artist, dreamer, and forest dweller. She is a member of Calgary's 2006 Slam Poetry Team. I'm so excited. Here is she, here they are, sorry, Audrey Coquette. and actually writing like, don't worry if it's too tangential, I'll write something smaller, um, but he loved it too. And he actually ended up sending me a message about how this process was exactly why he loved being an editor, helping people come to these realizations and then having a platform to share them. I was honored. And when it was published, I was completely overwhelmed with how much love, community, and friendship was showed to me. So much support about this thing I had always, always hid. I'm still writing and performing poems about about epilepsy, how it lives in me but is not my life, how I'm not defined by it. Some of my poems are mantras to remind me I'm strong when the waves come. 
Uh, some are explanations for when all words escape me. And some are simply hands reaching out and wanting to hold and be held by others. This caused a domino effect in my life. I performed the piece on a national stage. I worked with a hospital to advocate mental health awareness. And I started feeling really healthy and happy in a way that I hadn't in a really long time. And I sort of tricked myself into thinking that was the end of it. I had faced my demons, and I could wash my hands of the whole matter. This, of course, is never the case with a chronic condition. For me, the hardships of my condition come in waves. Waves that effectively knock me down and can send me spiraling off course. This winter, I was feeling very defeated, like my healthiest days were certainly behind me, and that my health was a mountain with its peak forever in the clouds, no clear destination, and no clear route. During this time, poetry was my saving grace. I wrote, I found strength, and I forced myself to put my artist heart out there. I applied and was accepted to the Canadian Wilderness Artist Residency. That includes a 15-day paddle on the Yukon River. To do a trip like that, I would need to be in a healthy place, and I wasn't. So my only option was to get to a healthy place or drop out, which was not an option. Um, so I danced myself out of this hopeless mindset I had kind of been languishing in and got myself into gear. I climbed my mountain. The residency starts in one month. I haven't gone yet. Um, I'm nervous and scared, but I'm also feeling strong, lucky, healthy, and capable. These experiences remind me that there are no limits to healing. There are no limits to what we can achieve. Poetry has led me to things that I never thought I could do. Today is a good example. I have never before been in a situation uh, where I've spoken so candidly to so many people about epilepsy. I'm growing every day. Poetry has saved me fully and in so many ways. This art form and the community that surrounds it has given me hope, purpose, comfort, power, and voice. It has been the candle burning on the darkest night. There are a thousand, hundred million reasons why art is important. This is only one. Um, I'm a little ahead of time, but I, I urge you to find your art. Find your job as an editor or whatever it is that you love that makes you um, passionate enough to work so hard um, to achieve whatever you need and want most in your life, uh, whether it's like a job as an editor, editor needle pointing, computer programming, gardening, singing, whatever art that it is. Um, and I hope once you find it, you give it space to grow. If you feed it, it can and will save you. Or at the very least, it'll help guide you to a place where you can save yourself. And as we speak, it is doing that exactly for me. So thank you for listening.